What is poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Everybody has been asking about the river videos and today we're pinning in on the river and we're gonna be searching for some river monsters. That's the game plan for today. I cannot wait to be out on the boat. I mean, it's been a while. We took a couple trips down to Florida, fished some awesome fisheries on the boat, but it has been months since we've been on either the Ogeechee River or the Savannah River. So today we're hitting up the Ogeechee. We're gonna see what's about to happen. I think we're gonna catch them pretty good. The water does look a little high for where I think it should be, but it is an outgoing tide. And I think these fish are gonna be biting pretty well. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Got the new truck right there. Got the beautiful kicking boat. Got the man, Connor. What's good, brother? What's up, guys? Then we got Tara. Hi. What's up? We're gonna be going for some big ones today, guys. So if you guys have been enjoying the content, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video with a friend. Get somebody new in the fishing. Get somebody into the outdoors. That's why we're here on YouTube. But yeah, let's go ahead and back the boat in and see what we can do today. All right, guys, we just got out to our first spot. As you can tell, we got a beautiful deck of kicking combos and mock crushes. If you guys want to check out any of the green kicking combos, you can check them out on kickingtheirbass.com. I'll drop a link down below. That's what we're going to be starting off with. And on this in particular, I'm going to be throwing a Texas rig. This is a 3 8 ounce bullet weight by Strike King three extra wide gap hook and then a rage crawl if you guys want to get a uh, discount on any of the striking baits as well i have that down below in the description we just pulled up on our first spot this is actually a main re river spot i haven't been out on this river in probably six months so today is just going to be a little bit of trial and error trying to find these fish seeing what they're doing the water's a little higher than i would like it but it's not high enough for us to not get bites so today's gonna be fun we're just gonna go search for some big ones See what we can put together. Usually this time of year, and we're in January right now, the uh, some really good fat bass come out of the Ogeechee, at least from my experience in the last couple of years. So I'm excited to see what we can put together. And this is also the first video of 2023. So, and I know you guys are the same. Any fish we catch today is our first fish of 2023. First one of the year. So it better be a 10 pounder, boys. It better be a 10 pounder. I don't know if you guys remember three years ago, my first fish of like 2019 maybe was a seven pounder, which is pretty crazy. I don't know if we're, <laughs> we're gonna get into that on our first fish, but hey, I'll just be happy to catch them today. I will say these dang gnats are out like crazy, dude. They yeah, bite near the net legs. Gosh. Dude, that's one thing I can't stand are those gnats, man. Gnats are so annoying. Get in your, in your hair and on your head, get on your legs. It's got a jacket on, so they're not on my arms. Oh, there we go. Oh, he spit it out. That's so weird. He went tick, 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 and just done. Yeah. So, guys, I'm actually going to switch up from that Rage Curl. I'm going to put, like, a Speed Worm style bait on here. So I'm a little different. Not really feeling a crawl. I'm feeling more of a worm right now. This spot was kind of dead the last couple of years. Like, like this tree in general. I used to I used to always pop a good one off this tree. Oh dude, he's <laughs> What am I doing, dude? Dude, I've never seen you get so excited. <laughs> That was your first cast, wasn't it? Or second cast? Right. That that was on a crawl, right? Rage crawl? Man. But it was like 100% a bite, like. 100%. I waited too long, but like I felt it, and I was trying to let him take it. Yeah, no, that's kind of where I got my bite. They might be on that bank more, a little tighter up, up there. It felt like a mudfish bite or, or a bass? Could have been a mudfish, but I was dragging it so slow. Yeah. There he is, right there. He just spit me out. Oh, dude. Hey, that one had some weight on to it. If, I'm gonna tell you, man, if that wasn't a mudfish, that was a good bass. They they are on that bank. I bet you that's a different, that was about, yeah, right where you're at, Tara. Just ease it out really slow. I think there's a school of mudfish there. Or that was a three, four pound bass, dude. That one had weight. All right, guys, spot number two. 
Like I said earlier, I, I think the water's still just a little high. A little, little high from where I would like it. It doesn't mean that we won't catch fish in here. It just, it just means it might not be on fire by like 10 fish and 10 casts type, type thing. Did you get bit? Yeah, I, I got it. bit. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Dude. I'm over here watching her worm and my worm is getting... Yeah, I saw my, I saw my this is a I big... Right where I mean, I catch them on 10 inch worms in these canals though. So, I mean, I feel like this... This worm wouldn't be too big. You have one? Yeah, there we go. Here's your first bass. First, first bass. First one of the year. First one of the year. All right, the day. Let's go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. He ain't big, but he's a start, That's right? Oh, look at that. There you go. That's not a bad one. Beautiful. Something to start off with, right? It's your first one. First yeah. one of the year. Good job, girl. He's more out off that bank, wasn't he? That's what I'm saying. Like, see that bank. Like last year, I caught a few there, but it wasn't like they were on it like that. I might have to put a fluke or a jerk bait on. I'm feeling it. I don't know if you guys remember, um, if you were watching some of the content last year, like we had multiple days over 50 fish on jerk baits and big worms. But you know, that jerk bait bite's just so fun. I I might have to tie it on. I actually got a mock jerk bait on. The one I was throwing last year was a striking. I have yet to throw the mock one in the river. So maybe we try that out. If I'm not getting bites, I might switch up to that color of the striking one just because I, I know that color is fire out here. But I do have a mock jerk bait on that I will try. Broke off guys. I'm gonna show you the rig up process on uh, this Texas rig I'm throwing. So I had a tungsten on before, but I usually switch to lead when I'm out here on the river, just because you tend to break off a lot. I don't like going over and unhooking it either because a lot of the times, you know, you don't wanna air out all those spots with your trolling motor. So yeah, I put on a little lead weight, very basic. Notice that I'm not pegging this. I'm not putting a peg on this weight. When I fish in current, I like to not use a peg. It allows that bait to, to have more of a natural flow in the water. When, when the pegs on the weight, which I can demonstrate for you guys in a second, but that bait, you know, isn't going to flow as natural in the current. So just rule in thumb when you're fishing current and if you're on some of these rivers or tidal water fisheries, you know, try, try to do it pegless. I've had days where my buddy would have his weight pegged and then I wouldn't and I would end up having 10 bites versus his one or two. It just allows the bait to be more natural in the water. I'm gonna rig up this mag worm. This isn't like an old monster. It's a little, little smaller than a mag. I tend to catch them pretty good on this. And <clears throat> instead of going with like a black and blue or uh, a June bug, you know, I, I tend to go with more of a natural out here. It's like a lot of people throw the darker colors, but that natural green pumpkin tends to work pretty good for me. I'll usually dye the tail in chartreuse, but I don't currently. I don't think I have a pen with me. You're in prime waters now. I'm hoping we, if we cut, start catching them here, this will be a good bite. This mock jerk bait's honestly perfect for this. It only goes a little bit below the surface. It's really good for this water. Sorry, you got one? Nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say you lifted up like a drop shot, didn't you? That's a better one. There you go. Connor's on board. Let's see what you got. Yeah, that's not a bad one, dude. Oh, look at the black mark on his fin. Oh, he's got really cool that? markings. What is that? I don't know. I got braid on my hook, dude. Look at this. Wait, that's actually weird. It has some crazy markings on him. Look. First bass of 2023. First bass. Thank you, buddy. See you later. I got like some sort, do I like thick line on my hook? I like hooked the guy's knot that he tied. His leader knot. No, I threw to that same spot. 
probably five or six times before you bit it with the shanko and then didn't get any hits and i switched to this and the first time i threw it what is it the crawl yeah so you switch back to the crawl and then you got bit yeah see that's one of those things either he really could have been there and just not wanting that worm or you know he might have just pulled up mm -hmm. you know so you make it the same cast 12 times and then finally get a bite but not really because he's sitting there it's more of like the water's moving fish are pulling out i got one oh gosh man come on now that was the weirdest little nibble they do seem to be biting a little weird they're not like you know well that first one was like a, a good thud and that one was barely kicking it yeah yeah Let's see if i can get this one to bite again that was like such a soft little tap yeah dude come on now let me playing like that let's see yeah he's got a little yeah he got a little a piece out of mine that was a good one right there oh, it was right by the boat these fish might be coming through now that's a good sign that we just got how many bites right there three or four isn't that crazy like you could be sitting here for like 20 30 minutes and i get a bite and then all of a sudden it's like dong, dong, dong. yeah Oh, nice. He's That's a good one. A two pounder, just about. Nice, Connor, I'm going under you. Yeah, they're down there because my bait hit the bottom. That's probably not the same fish he hooked a second ago either. Yeah, it's bigger than the last one. I want to see that one that you had a second ago. <laughs> yeah, see the belly on that thing though? Let me see the belly. Yeah, it's fat. Oh my goodness. Dude, come on, that bite, man. That was the bite I've been waiting on all day. Jeez, dude. That had to have been a mud, man. I don't believe that was a bass. I'm about to call his bluff right here. I, I mean, that bite was just this, look. That was it, running at me. There's no way those are bass. I could see a mud fish, like, not getting this big worm all the way in his mouth, maybe. Get him, buddy. Yeah, I saw, I saw your rod. Dude, that's how they're biting me, Connor. Up to like get, get him out. You got him? Really? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Oh, he's thin. He looks like a mo Oh, that's a bass? Oh, it's a red. Is it? It is a red. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Dude, that's awesome. Connor said earlier, I said, you might catch a red. And he goes, you catch him in here? <laughs> Look at that. Have you ever caught a red? I have, not here. Wow. On a bass lure. Maybe that's what's been biting us, bro. I know that sounds bizarre, but... Look at this beautiful redfish that he just got. You gotta get a picture of that, dude. Man, they got some sharp fins, dude. Hold them out. <laughs> Look at that, dude. That is just something else. Out here bass fishing? That's crazy. Can you catch that? <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Two spots on his tail. Pretty little red. Good looking red. Thank you, buddy. You want a picture or not? Nah? Yeah, let's get a picture. Dude, I'm shocked. I didn't think they were up in here this far. Oh my god. You got a good one, Terry? Dude, what... she has something big. It, it might be another red. Ooh, the way I it's think... fighting. Oh! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. Terry, that's a good one. Terry's got a monster red. Get him in! Oh! Oh my god. Terry, that's a unit right there. Oh my god. Bro, what? Oh, what? Oh, Boys, take the hook out out that is something else. Yes. Tara, look at that. <laughs> I'm so excited. On the uh, kicking rod, both kicking rods. Need to get in there That's crazy. Huh? Need to get in there. No one needs to get in there. Yes, get one. <laughs> get All right, Tara. Look at that. Let's Hold them out. Off. Let's go, Tara. That's a freaking monster. Tara, that's a really good fish. <laughs> All right, let's get them back in the water. You want to get them on this side? Yeah. Yeah, put them back slowly. Yeah, I'm gonna get my fingers out fast. Don't drop them either. Oh, he, he was ready. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, Dude, I, cannot, I cannot believe that. Dude. Dude. Let's get him in. Let's, let's do it. Let's do some more. <laughs> what in the world? That is the craziest thing. Yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all that. Hey, Tara, that fish that bit me back there, I bet you guys that was a red. Dude, honestly, it, it might, it might have been. It probably because was. No. It was a tick tick and I was like, I let it sink. Yeah. 
Yank that. The crazy thing is they're buying a freaking big worm. You know what I need? I, I need to tie that fluke on, bro. I, I really need to tie that fluke on. I hope that wasn't just like a quick school and they're done. I hope there's some more here. I'd love to catch some. Yeah, that's one's... So yours ate a rage crawl and hers ate the big worm. That's crazy. I, I'm gonna, I gotta go with a fluke, dude. I gotta, I gotta tie one on. To be honest, it might be smart for me to put a weight on it though. I know that sounds weird. I've never tried it with a weight, but. It might like for the for the resin like I'm gonna actually do that so I don't have to cut this off this round. So guys, this is very odd what I'm about to do, but I'm gonna actually take this speed worm off and put the fluke on my Texas rig. I kind of want to wait on this because where they're getting these bites, I think we're just slightly deeper. It might be a good thing to bot this off the bottom. Like I feel like a red would just smoke that right there. Yeah, like literally just, just kind of before that. Oh. I got him, dude. I got a red. I got a freaking red. Oh, or it might be a mud. It might be a mud. <laughs> it's a mud fish. Oh. <laughs> oh, my first fish of the year. Don't net that thing. I do not want that in the boat. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever, man. Okay. Whatever. I was like, I got him. He's fighting like a red. He ain't fighting like a bass. That's all I know. Okay, buddy. That's my first fish of 2023. I think it's still on well i got me a fish i got i got the skunk off my back so maybe yeah. dude he destroyed that fluke good connor you mind if i have Was another first cast on it <laughs> yeah look at it look at it, it ripped it in half oh yeah yeah i'm gonna retire well guys i just you know this is our first day back on the river in about half a year to see them catch some bass I, I, that was awesome I, I wanted them to catch some fish uh and i was telling them about the whole red stuff and oh, yeah sure enough it happened while we were freaking bass fishing that red that tara just caught is the biggest one that i've seen out of, the biggest one that i've caught out of this river or seen caught out of this river so that's pretty exciting i had one in a tournament that was slightly smaller than that one it was it was close to it but yeah, that's crazy we're gonna see if we can get back in here and catch some more it might be one of those things where they were just traveling through and we just got lucky there but then again there could be some more down there so we're gonna keep on trying it i still think this fluke on this texas rig can be a good strategy if there's some reds kind of hop this thing off the bottom this fluke could be like nose down i think that's a good good call for a redfish yeah. did you get bit yeah i'm just yeah he's oh. got it he's got it oh my god connor i missed him that's a bass, that's a bass. Yeah. dude i just missed one when you got bit too that's a good bass bro that's a nice one Get him up in here. Oh yeah. no, is it down there? Maybe get it Come a little far. <laughs> oh, 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 here he is. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that is him right there. Oh. That is him right there. Whoa, dude. Oh, it's gotta be a red, right? Gotta be a red. Yes, it is, dude. Yes, it is, baby! Oh my gosh! There's another nice one. Oh, fluke rig on the bottom. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, dude, that's another good one. That's like the size of hers, if not bigger. All right, I gotta step it up now. You see what I'm throwing though, dude? You see what I'm throwing? Though? Hey, you guys see that next to the kicking fish? Well, guys, listen, I have yet to catch a bass this New Year's, but I'll take a big old solid redfish. That's where it's at. Little did I know, have not caught a bass in 2023, but we are pulling up some pretty red fish. We run into them sometimes out here, but just to come out and actually start catching them like this, like we all ended up getting one. It's just awesome. We're gonna see what else we can catch. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. First red fish of 2023. I've yet to catch a bass, but we're on these beautiful reds right now. Wow, look at that. That is so much fun. Give me some, Tara. We all three got one, baby. Now your boy just needs a bass for 2023. But man, that is surprising. Retying right now. I had to cut off, kind of had a mess within the net there. That is just crazy, guys. You clicked on here to see some bass. We thought we were coming out here to see some bass. And we're seeing some big redfish. Cannot complain with that. I didn't get to get on any big redfish this year. So that's just that's a little treat to start off uh, 2023 with some reds. 
All right, we just pulled up to one of our last spots. We're gonna see what we can do. You got him? Yeah. Let's get it, baby. Yeah. Let's get it, baby. Nice. Good job, buddy. Noah literally goes, throw it up, throw it up on this bank right there. There's a fish on it. First cast, and then he comes out. <laughs> we'll take job, it. Buddy. All right. Ooh, that tree was tough. We are out here the next day, about to put it on the Ogeechee. We have a little game plan on what we're going to do to try to maximize catching some bass today and catching some redfish. You guys know I still have yet to catch my 2023 bass. I have not caught one. Ended up catching a redfish, which you guys saw right before this, but I haven't caught a bass yet. So that's the game plan. Got Connor with me. What's up guys? Again. And we're gonna get after it. So we're gonna go ahead and back the boat in the water, try to find these fish. Once we get on the water, I'll kind of tell you guys my game plan. We also went by the store, grabbed some more baits. And yeah, so I'm excited about it. It's gonna be fun. Hit the like button if you're enjoying it this far. Let's hop right into it. All right guys, just got out to our first spot. As you guys can tell, the water's still pretty high. If you guys don't know how the tides work, I was explaining it to Connor where like yesterday high tide was 12 o'clock. Today high tide is 1 p.m. So pretty much it goes up by an hour every single day. And with that being said, you know, this water is a little high and we don't have too much daylight. You know, it gets dark at 5.30. So it's one of those things where it's three o'clock right now and the water's still pretty high and we have two and a half hours of fishing. So we're gonna try to put together something today. I'm hoping, I haven't been to this spot in a very, very long time. It's probably been eight months. So maybe we can get on some fish here. The water is fairly high, but then again, I think there's still some fish in the area that we can catch. So let's go ahead and get after it and uh, see what we can put together. And then I'll show you guys what we bought from Walmart. I know I said I was gonna show you all that, but I'm gonna keep it a surprise until the end of the video. A lot of the times I'll throw like kind of where you threw or like more down that bank mm -hmm. and I'll let the current just like take my bait, yeah. Cause you got to think like anything getting washed down this, like if you just let your bait go with the current, that's kind of what the current's going to do with the bait in general. Right? So this like bass, trout, it's like trout fishing. Yeah. Like that. Like, so the bass are kind of, it's going to take you right to the bass. That's kind of how I like to yeah. think of it. You know, it'll take you right to the fish, whatever's down there. I think it's like all this water pumping out. You think there'd just be some fish like sitting out here. You know what I mean? There's gotta be some bait. I used to catch a lot of bass up on this one, but I haven't done good on it the last couple of years. Like the first year I started, the first six months I started fishing, I was catching a good couple up here. All right, boys, we're gonna rig up off of some of the stuff I got at Walmart. So we got these jig heads. I want to try them out because we can catch bass on this jig head. We can catch reds on this jig head. We can catch trout. We can catch flounder. I mean, we can catch literally anything on this jig head, even stripers. So I kind of want to try it. This spot has a lot of current, a lot of water moving off of it. And if there's no bass up here, at least we'd catch something. I want to try it. I know there's some sort of species. There's some, some sort of fish up there. And I'm willing to catch whatever bites right now. Since the water's high and we're just honestly like trying to kill time at the very moment i mean it, it, when that water's that high you you ain't getting those bass to bite i have a few spots that we could pick a few small ones off but nothing worth even going over to i got these like little swim baits got like a chartreuse tail like a green like a watermelon red top and it's got like a silver bottom and this is just like a three eighth ounce jig head it's pretty simple it ain't nothing crazy at all Are you hung? That is why I bought two packs of them jig heads. Just in case. Yeah, we're probably gonna be hung up a good bit. No, that's that, that was a rock. There's gotta be something up here that's gonna that would bite a little jig head, a little swim bait. Uh, I didn't see those rocks. There's definitely rocks down there. Oh you didn't see that you know, yeah, that's a whole rock wall. Yeah, that's that's literally a whole wall of rocks yeah there's something flicked right there on the edge though see that sucks that's what, that's what you gotta deal with bro <laughs> i thought i literally hooked a lochness freaking monster what am i on down there 
Like actually, I was like, I'm gonna try out here in the middle on that drop off. It's very stretchy. It's gotta be like a tree limb. Yeah, I got it off. What in the world was that? That's that's weird, man. I thought I just leaned into like a freaking shark. Literally. Thing is, we're in the current too, and that it was like a tree limb. So when I hit it, it felt like it was on, like there's something on there. That's what it is, dude. I don't even know what that is. I'll let it sink to the bottom. Is that a bass? I think it's a bass, dude. It is a bass. Hey, Noah's 2023 bass. First bass of 2023. It is a little fatty. A little fatty. I couldn't catch one yesterday. I put on like a little saltwater looking bait. <laughs> he just smokes it. I was about to say, that's a fish. I was like, that. I knew for a fact that wasn't a rock biting me. Well, while we're killing time for the tide to go out, we still got us on a bass. Thank you, buddy. Get us started somewhere, guys. Right. That's what we needed. He said where he needed to be. He's like right up on that corner. Boom. He in a rock? Dude, that can't be it. I saw your pole doing something. I was right up on that like edge, like to the right of my cast right there. I knew that was a fish. Like I just felt him just eat, eat it. I got an idea. Dude, I haven't been to this spot in a minute, but I know there's crazy stripers in there. It looks good, huh? Sure, like you think something would be there, whether it's a striper, a redfish, a trout, a bass. Right, that's why this spot just looks so crazy to me. Yeah, it sounded pretty good, didn't it? I got him. Oh, dude, he freaking had me, Connor. What? In his mouth the whole time as it was falling right there. 100% a fish right there. Dang. Yeah, he was just chomping on it, dude. I just felt like, dude, dude, dude. All right, no pressure, but I'm just getting prepped for when you hook up right here. <laughs> dude. Dang it, bro. You chomp down on it? I don't even see teeth marks for that, and like. Out of any bite today. Felt solid. Yeah. He had it in his mouth. He just guess he didn't have the hook. Brett. Did you see my line? Yeah. Did you see that, bro? That, there's that, no way that's current. Just... No, that was a fish. Like that, that was a million percent a fish hitting me right there. You saw my line jump, didn't you? I saw it. Yeah, he hammered it. Oh, oh dude, I had him, Connor. Bro, yeah, they're they're loaded down there. Oh, dude, I actually had that one on. I don't know what these are, but. Hey, the trick is to let it sink to the bottom. Dude, I feel like I gotta get up on that dock. Here we go. That time I actually got a piece of them, but there's gotta be more than one, right? That's a big fish, I think. That's a big fish. I don't know what this is, dude. I don't know if it's a red or a striper. Redfish. <laughs> it's a baby red, but he got it. Look at that, man. 
beautiful redfish. He was freaking hammering me, bro. Ain't that a pretty one? Isn't it crazy how the smaller ones have more of the black dots on them? Yeah, notice you notice that? That one that I caught yesterday had two dots on the tail. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm actually gonna do a quick release. I'm gonna try to get back in there and catch another one. He ain't nothing much to take a picture of. Thank you, buddy. A little quick release. All right. You want to see if I can do back to back? Let's see. All right, let's see if we can get another one. I'm hoping that there's a lot of fish down there. So I figured out the trick. It's like if I throw up there and I just reel it in, I won't get a bite. But if I throw up there, kind of let it sink and then slightly reel it in, that's when they're hitting it. I believe there's more than just one up there. Um, Let's try this right here. I, I'm gonna lose it, man. They're down there, bro. They're, they're literally down there. Dude, I just gotta let it fall. That's all I gotta do. If I let it, like, if I'm patient with it, I'll let it sink, I'll eat it. Why do they eat it like that? Why do redfish eat it like that? Oh, there he is. Oh, you know what, Con? You know what I'm going to try? So, guys, we, uh, you know how I said I went to Walmart? I showed you a few things that we got, but I got oh, some yeah. some those. secret juice. These fish aren't holding on to the bait. And if I know anything, I would think I would want to put one of these on. It's one of the shrimp that have that nasty, like, stuff on it. I'll be honest, bro. I'm going to take all this stuff out of here because I don't want this to spill. Ooh, yeah, that stuff is ripe, buddy. Smells good. I want to say it smells good. I bet they'll hold on to it too. Just imagine. Might, that might be the uh, the key there. A little extra juice to get them enticed. A little shrimper. Look at that. Beautiful. Will you be mind blown if they just hold on to it? It honestly would not surprise me. I know a lot of the saltwater guys do that. They put that nasty stuff on there, and they start catching them. Let's see. I'm getting consistent bites and I already got one on. Gosh. What is that much of a difference? You know, I cannot, for the life of me, get one hooked. No, those pass through 100% of fish. Hey. 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 He ate it on the fall. He ain't big. See how small they are? What's up? Yeah. See, they ain't big. Hey, they're redfish though. <laughs> and we're catching something. Hey, just because the bass aren't biting right now and the tide ain't right, don't mean we can't come over here and, and catch a different species, right? Look at that beautiful redfish. Beautiful red. Okay, let's throw it right back in there. Keep it rolling. It's alive. You ready? Yep. I'm gonna catch one back to back, guys. All right. So I'm not gonna move it. I'm gonna let it just sink and he's gonna grab it. At least he should. That's probably that's too far out now. That was your first cast of that. Uh, I mean, I got a bite on my first cast, but that's, so I threw more to the front of it, like right there. And that's kind of where you've been throwing, right? Yep. So look, now I should get bit. Get in there, buddy. Get in there, buddy. Is he bigger? He's about the same size. It's so weird, guys, because you'll get like some of these big reds and then you get these reds, like the smaller ones, and they just got these beautiful marks, like more marks on them than bass. That yeah, that's what I'm saying. Another quick release. We're just going, we're going to catch them, guys, until they're big. If they're big, we'll hold them up. If not, we just going to. Keep trying. All right, boys, that's where it all happened yesterday. We gonna give it a shot. Give it a shot, it a shot. 
Let's see what we can do here. Praying that these fish are here. These fish were freaking big, man. Big fish. Those ones we just caught, that, that was that was a lot of fun. The cool part about this place right here, that other spot, not really. We were more down. This is more of that brackish. This is where we killed the bass at. Like we catch the heck out of them over here. So we have an opportunity to catch some big bass right here, some big reds, some flounder, some striper, pretty much anything that I eat right here. So it would not surprise me. We even caught some bass here yesterday. So pretty much all the bass. Got about an hour of daylight left. We're gonna put some work in here. If this isn't happening, I got a bunch of good bass spots that we'll go hit on the way back. You got him? Oh, he's big too, ain't he? That's a big one, Connor. I can tell you, Rod. Whoa, how is this net in here? Uh-oh. Look at the spots on his side, dude. You care if I shut him down in the back? Yeah. So not there. Dude, he's got Look at how many spots are on him. Oh my gosh, there's like eight or nine. That's crazy. Dude, that's nine spots on one side of his body. I've never seen that. What you got, Connor? Your first red of the day? Little foul location. Thought he was bigger, but he was using that uh that hook being in there sideways to help him out a little bit. Yeah, yeah show me that. Look at the spots, though. Look at that. That is man. great. He has 14 spots. Yeah, I'm gonna count that. Like, I've never seen one with that many spots. We'll that. see if we can catch another one with more. All right. All right, nice, dude. See you, buddy. Nice, buddy. That's awesome. Got your first one. First there one of go. the day. Did you? Do you think he hit you? You just happened to accidentally get him foul hooked. What's that? You think you just accidentally foul hooked him like he actually hit you? Like swipe. No, I think he hit, and I was like talking distracted, so I, I didn't set the hook early enough, and then I did after. And yeah. I probably got him when he. Oh, here he is. Here he is, dude. This that was one right here. He's biting me. Yep. Oh, dude, he came off. That was one. That was one. Freaking knock my dang GoPro off my chest. Hey, we might have just fired him up. Yeah. You know? That that wasn't a bass that bit me though. That was one. He was up shallow. Did I cop that one with the uh with the janky bait look at mine? The head's cut off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks clean, dude. Works, it honestly looks better. Oh, I got one. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> oh dude, I cannot believe we, we're doing this right now. We're bass fishermen. Yeah, that's a better. Oh, oh no, get the net, dude. That's bigger than any one yesterday. I didn't realize how big he was. That's a bass. That's a bass. Oh no, it's a mud. It's a mud. Oh, man. <laughs> dude, it looks like a, that's a, that's a monster. Look at that thing. <laughs> you don't want him in the net. Oh, either. heck no, dude. Don't be mad at him. No. That, dude, I thought I had like a nine pound bass on a shrimp, dude. I was about to lose it. I'm about to say, about everything I know about bass fishing is just. <laughs> out the door if I would have caught a freaking 10 pound bass on a shrimp. Hey, just imagine me seeing the side of that, you know? I thought it was a big red, but what is it supposed to be? When he turned, I thought it was like an 8 pound bass <laughs> coming to the boat. Jeez. Hey, right. it's a fish, man. It's a fish. <laughs> Giant bass. Oh Dude, I did too. I, well, I thought it was a monster red. I was like, that's twice as big as the ones yesterday. Dude, but when he turned and I yeah. saw like green, I was like, oh, that's what no, I'm that's saying. Like, and usually the mudfish don't have green on them. For some reason, he had green on them. So I was like, yo. I was like, yo, that's it. That's what I was saying, guys. You can catch anything. Like, I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if we caught a big bass right here at all i mean this is usually where i fish for bass they just happened to find those reds here yesterday which is just crazy dude it rode the tree branch i thought it was the one if i was running with me i'm just gonna have to pop this yeah we still got a couple i ain't going up on them fish man I ain't worth that i'll i'll use a texas rig like yesterday oh my fish oh, oh big oh it came out it came out oh, oh no gosh, dude was it red? I think I'm setting it too hard. I, I feel dude, like I just did. Connor, what was I telling you at the other spot? Just lean, just lean into him, bro. And that's coming from the, the everyone on the internet thinks I rip a fish's face off, bro. But it, it's coming from me. That is, that's true. <laughs> just, just bear, dude. I'm telling you, th this swim bait hook, you just hooks it sideways. It's gonna go right in his mouth. 
I, I'm not saying to not. Hey, I'm not saying I'm not saying to not put some some bud into it, but just lean to the side. Yeah. Torque torque your body, torque your hips. You think I was a red bite? I couldn't tell, but he, he was on. All right, we got two of these shrimp. I'm gonna put a shrimp on, and then after this, I might try a swim bait. But since this is working, if you guys are wondering how we're rigging it up, just going through the head of it, just like how you would like a swim bait, pushing it through, breaking through sliding it up on the hook pretty pretty simple and basic i actually did that slightly too early but that's all you need same way you would rig up a paddle tail swim bait guys yeah, just same ordeal but for y'all watching right now like we're yes we're kind of more of targeting these reds just because we know they're biting right now but this is where we bass fish this is it's not like this is out of the ordinary and we're going to some place to to fish for reds we're fishing in the same area that you know we catch bass and we caught how many bass up in here? I saw that, but I saw your line. Just lean, watch. You're not going like this, you're going like this. Yeah. Just put, you gotta put body weight into it, you know what I mean? Connor, I would try over here too, buddy. Man, we had a lot of bites. That's what those people do for stripers out here, they troll it. Let's try it. We just have to keep an eye on it. I don't want to lose this rod. Yeah, there's we can kind of like, uh... Hook it onto. I'm gonna throw it out. Like, only thing is to be going with the current, dude. I could technically let this like <laughs> spool the whole rod and be way back there. Oh yeah, dude. There's a ton of current. Bro, what if you put the butt in the cup holder and kind of stood it up? I think it's good right there. Yeah. We'll, we'll just keep an eye. Yeah, I don't want to lose the rod today, man. <laughs> So guys, we didn't show it on video yesterday. We had crabs on the back of the boat that were coming out of uh, the redfish mouth. And uh, so that makes me think, Connor, you know, they're, they're getting those crabs up on these banks, which I get there's some out here in the middle, but I, there has to be some of them up shallow, you know, eating all them. So like, even this whole bank edge, you know what I mean? Yeah. Connor, yes. Yeah, there he is, nice. Nice. See that we were just talking about how they don't come back but for he it. Just came back for yeah, he came back for it. <laughs> Look at that. That's a better one. A little better than the first one. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Come on. Double up, buddy. Double up, buddy. Oh, you got one? Yeah. That's a good one. Oh no, it's just stuck in the thing. But I do got one. Same spot. Here we go. Hey, double up. First double up of the day. This one's a lot prettier. Like, oh no, it's about the same. Oh, you dude, get your you? gill plates are so sharp, dude. First double up on some pretty reds. Do a little quick release again with them. These fish tore me up yesterday. What's the best way to grab these red fish? I usually grab them like in the gill plate and I'll stick my fingers up there. They sliced the heck out of me yesterday though. And I'll kind of grab one with the tail. Nice, Connor. See ya. <laughs> one spot. Dude, I can't believe we got that one with nine spots on one side still that's crazy <laughs> yeah that one was insane i'm gonna keep a mental note of that and just know like you know did that one hit like a brand new thing? yeah the no they, they literally what i was saying before connor hooked that fish is they go tick 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 just like a brim and then all of a sudden they'll stop oh do i have that jerk bait out still but guys they'll literally go tick 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 then they don't they don't eat it again but his his went back for it that time Usually you'd have to reel in and recast and then you'll get another bite. Yeah, I caught him in that same spot. You pulled your, yep, there he is. Dude, the boom, boom, boom. The boom, 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 boom is done. I would never like, I, like I'm not too big into the saltwater like species, but like as of right now, I compare these dang reds to a bluegill. I just don't even understand how I can say that, but how they're biting, that's what it feels like. Their mouths are a lot smaller. I mean, a bass just kind of goes, yeah, sucks it in. Dude, Connor, I keep seeing them bust up here. I'm gonna try up here in this pocket. Dude. John? Look at the boil, dude. Look at the boil. He came back. Wait, I got him. He's on my pole the whole time. He's running straight at you. 
That's a better one. Yeah, that's a big one, dude. Uh, maybe. Yeah. That's a big one. Maybe the big ones are up shallow. Yeah, net him. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one, though. That's, dude, that might be bigger. Oh, ho, ho. no, that's a unit. Yeah, there that's bigger go. than the ones yesterday, baby. Look at that. Oh, that's where he was. Get you he was shallow. You know what he was doing? He's eating crabs. Ain't he? Look at that one boys there we go guys that is what we're looking for that is a beautiful redfish right there that's a big one we're gonna get her back in the water let her swim another day she's ready wow so i'm gonna tell y'all we've been fishing out deep on the drop off for a lot of these fish that fish was the first one that we've caught in like two foot of water and my whole thing is they might be up there chewing on those crabs well, we talked about what 15 minutes prior so now we're gonna start trying up here and see if we can get some bigger size redfish let's get it baby that's the size we want guys let's try it again you know what's crazy about that connor that? i thought the fish was off Dude, I know. unless he was literally just chasing it he could have been chasing it bro this is the record day dude that that was right here in the middle of the canal in two foot of water yep there he is they are biting so good. That's a bigger one. I don't, I don't need it. It's bigger than the last couple, though. Uh, he ain't, is he? He, <laughs> he felt like it, dude. He really did. Oh, oh my God. You get hit? It's the taps. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is crazy, guys. Never. Never in my life. I think I'm a uh kicking their red tv today not kicking their best it's 2023 different <laughs> new me 2023 new me we ain't bass fishing no more guys i'm just kidding you guys already know 95 percent of the content on this channel ever posted will be bass content even though we're smoking the reds right now we just having to figure something out yesterday's video i'm glad we came back to do it